Hey, what's up? Today we're doing Fry Fry Thursday. Uh, I thought I'd just show you guys some of the various um, fry that I have it all out in my fish room. These are my beta chinoides. This is my second batch that I have. Just fed them, fed them some um, baby brine shrimp so I could get the meeting. And I'll show you the older ones. All right, here we go. Here's one of the older bit of Chinese fry. And as you can see, they're quite a bit larger. Let's see if I can find another one for you guys. But this batch, um, I think there weren't too many. I think I counted about eight last time I counted. Um, not that now that they're easier to count, I can actually see them. Here's another one. Oh, now they're all coming out. As you can see, there's, they're getting pretty big. Alright, let's see what else I have. Alright, check out my RO system that I just hooked up. There's the wastewater goes down there and here's the um, supply. Goes all the way in here and the waste comes out over here and the output goes in this big trash can and um, it just takes overnight to fill up so I just let this go all night and I got RO water fun stuff alright I also have these daisy rice fish fry um, of various sizes cuz um, just a few eggs hatch every day so they're all different kind of sizes and this is the tank that I'm breeding them in I mean not breeding them but raising them in which is the hill stream and um, white cloud tank the parents are up here but um I decided to take uh, a bunch of the fry out of the parents tank because I found um, that the parents weren't producing eggs anymore or either that or they were eating the eggs so once I um, took them out the day after that I started getting eggs again so that solved that problem but yeah these guys are doing pretty good growing out pretty fast alright these guys aren't so much fry anymore they're pretty um, growing up pretty big but this is my first batch of um, cockatoides Pistogramma cockatoides and um, from what I can tell I only have one definite definite female um, and there's a couple more suspect um, females there there's the one that I know for sure um, and I can tell that for sure because they kind of have this more yellow color than the males and all the other ones that are suspect like these here I'm not sure because they're not really showing that um, that yellow color nor are they really um, showing obvious smell traits either so we're just gonna have to wait and see on those and here we go here's a second batch of pistogramma cockatoides this batch is a lot larger than the first batch so I'm happy with that let's take a look at the parents here it's the mother and there's the dad Big underbite dad. Oh yeah, there's the little fry. Cute little buggers. They kind of like this um, the opening of the coconut cave. You can see the baby brine shrimp in their bellies already. But I'll be happy once these guys grow out. But yeah, all these fry are thanks to these two bottles right here. Baby brine shrimp. I harvest one of these in the morning and I harvest the other one in the afternoon. Every day. Works like a charm.
All right. Here I have the um, metalhead bluegrass guppy fry. Actually, some of them aren't so much fry anymore. I gotta start separating these guys. But lots of them coming up. Some of them are red. I I can see. So they're, most of them are supposed to be blue. The parents are blue. Alright, last but not least is um, the Shelly Fry. Really cute little buggers. These guys aren't too shy. They're out and about eating up that baby brine shrimp. guys are really tiny but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed my um, fry fry Thursday thanks for watching